guys, Simmons Gaming here and welcome back to my channel. Have you remembered my 20 year old PC that I filmed about 2 years ago and then I spray painted its case? Well, in today's video we are going to be upgrading it and see how well it runs. So let's get started. If you remember my 20 euro PC, you know that it came with a Core to Duo and NVIDIA 9800 GT which aren't the best specs in this days and age. But what I'm going to replace is an Intel Core i7 4th gen with 16 gigs of RAM that I got for free from my friend's old system that he recently upgraded. And I know those specs aren't the best either, but they will be a huge improvement from this Core 2 Duo system. Well, before even trying to put this motherboard uh, CPU combo into my spray painted 20 euro PC, I just couldn't notice a lot of dust cloud on the CPU cooler ones. So this is like an aftermarket uh, cheap depot cooler. And when I saw like there were huge clumps of dust, I will include some photos <laughs> that I cleaned up. So now let's quickly put this CPU cooler back in. Okay, so after great pain and pressure, we got the CPU cooler finally installed. I hate these metal bracket clips. I don't know how you call them, but it's like pain in the ass to install them. But anyways, now let's bring out our 20 euro spray painted case and let's install this motherboard combo. Okay, let's open up our PC and right away we will have to remove this like plastic PC CPU cooler shroud because it will interfere with our aftermarket CPU cooler. And yeah, what else do we have here? Well, apparently the same things as before. As you, maybe you are wondering why there is like a rattling hard drive in this case. Well, I tried to do like a Plex media server uh, video, but that got scrapped, so that's just dang dangling here till this day. And we're gonna be removing everything except for this 400 watt power supply because I don't have any spare power supplies. So yeah, we're gonna go to the time lapse, and I will be right back after this motherboard transplant. So let's get right into it. After one motherboard time lapse later, we can see our new old motherboard in this 20 year old spray painted PC case. So now let's quickly hook up monitor, mouse, and keyboard and let's see it boot up for the first time. Now, for the moment that we are all been waiting for, will it work? So, first off, let's flip the switch. Okay, I see the mouse is shining and let's hit the power button. Okay, it's booting up. Oh, yeah, you see the Asus BIOS logo. Let's probably enter to the BIOS since there is no like operating system here and there is oh there is ubuntu oh it's the it's from my plex media server so it has ubuntu server um, os installed so what we're going to do is probably to shut it off 
and we are going to install Windows 7 on the system. So I'll be right back after I finish installing Windows 7. Well, originally I wanted to install Windows 7 on the system, but it didn't go as planned because my Windows 7 ISO was, I guess, corrupted. It didn't want to install, so I had to install Windows 10. And after the installation, I installed a couple games so we could test the system out. And before testing it out, let's, let's see what kind of specs we are working with. And we're gonna see it for ourselves. And yet, as you can see it right here, it's an i7-4770 <laughs> Haswell. Um, it has four cores, eight threads. Okay, let me zoom out. The motherboard on this is an H81M Plus. As I told you, we have 16 gigs of DDR3. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We are working with integrated graphics. Uh, we can bench the CPU to see how well it performs. The single thread score is for 431, multi thread to uh, 2020. I mean, it's not bad, I guess. This Core i7 is pretty similar to my i i5-8400 okay so this is my my personal rigs processor compared to this intel core i7 that we are testing out today and performance like yeah there are some differences in the performance yeah but like it's pretty close let's start with our gaming benchmarks so to speak i guess Beginning our gaming benchmarks, we have Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. At the highest settings, it ran pretty smoothly at around 56 frames. Next up, we have Slenderman The Arrival. And at the native 1080p fast settings, it ran without any problems, averaging about 40 FPS. Half-Life 2, at high settings, it ran around 88 FPS. Moving over to Call of Duty World at War, at high settings and this weird 1024 by 768 resolution that I wasn't able to rescale for some reason, it averaged about 34 FPS. To finish it off, we have Minecraft with Optifine, and after tweaking with the settings, I was able to get the game playable and it averaged at about 121 FPS, but there were some stutters, however, it wasn't a huge deal. And that concludes today's video. This video didn't have like any primary subject. I just really wanted to put Intel Core i7 motherboard combo into this old stylish PC case that I spray painted like two years ago and seeing how well does an Intel Core i7 fourth gen integrated graphics perform in some games. So yeah, this was a very interesting project for me. I hope you enjoyed it as well. So yeah, that's it. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.